Hi guys, I'm back again for the weekly oracle reading. For those of you who are just tuning in, welcome. I'm Anne and in this video I'm going to be giving a general love reading focusing on all divine partners, that's soulmates, twin flames, twin rays, and anybody that you're connected to romantically. I invite you to stay tuned and watch. I know there's a message for you. Um, take what resonates with you and just leave what doesn't. If you would like to get your own personalized reading, I do offer phone chat and email readings and the links are down below in the description area. Okay, so um, right now we are coming into a time where it's the, you know, it's that start of summer, start of new beginnings and, you know, just that fun time. And as we see things, just like it's hope, you know, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. So I've laid out the cards, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Like I said, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to look, choose from one or the other. I like to get two different perspectives and sometimes we're leaning on more um, on one side and the other, um, it all it all varies. And also you could be um, resonating with both sides. So the first uh, card for Divine Masculine is Love Yourself. And this is important. I love this card. She is gorgeous. This angel, angel of um, love. And it's basically to love yourself. And she's basically telling Divine Masculine, um, it's time to love yourself. It's time to stop you know, blaming others or blaming yourself or just blaming the world for, you know, things not going your way. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you did anything wrong because you didn't, but Divine Masculine is starting to feel more empowered, you know, and it, loving yourself is a big, big step. It's a big step to take that right movement forward. So if you're involved with somebody and, you know, you can see that this person is not getting it, maybe they're not really loving themselves try to like pursue a little bit of love towards them or show them some type of love or you know like maybe it's something that you're feeling inside like I said it could be both or one or the other but whatever is happening right now don't blame anyone or yourself because it all starts with love and everything happens for a reason it's all a divine purpose it is safe for you to love as you can see it's safe for a divine masculine to love so obviously with two cards coming up this way that means so much together love yourself it's safe for you to love it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all gorgeous card I love those cards love yourself and it's safe for you to love so maybe you're thinking am I supposed to, whoops <laughs> am I supposed to love myself because I just love myself because I am worthy yes do I love myself because I deserve it yes um, do I love myself because I love myself yes don't ever underestimate what love that you feel for yourself whatever it may be whatever it is I mean sometimes it can be just you know just being still that's loving yourself that's giving yourself so much love so much happiness because sometimes we forget to love ourselves when I say this I mean like that's what prevents you from really loving someone else um, you know dipping your toe in the water you know a summertime fever energy or if you're going through winter you know dipping your toe in the snow I don't know what it's doing down there if it snows bad the way it does up here but anyways you got what I'm saying taking it slow it's safe to love it's safe to love yourself it's safe to just give in and dive right into what that feeling that purpose because divine masculine is starting to awaken um we've been seeing that the last couple of readings i know we've been seeing little pop-ups of awakening 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 you know and and it's positive it's very positive divine timing she's a beautiful angel too i love angel cards divine timing maybe it's not happening in your timing maybe there's something that is preventing you from you know feeling the love feeling the happiness the joy everything that you need in your life you're not you're not getting it because there's something um, that's really you know not it's not going as quick as you would like it to and you know what that's because it's divine timing it's not meant for you to have it happen right now because you are you're growing you are evolving and if you don't do it you know in time you're, you're gonna you're gonna miss out you know there's a there's a purpose there's a divine purpose what that purpose is I can't tell you that that's, that's for you to know that's like personal you know like that's a, a personal bond with yourself you know um, kind of like okay when you think about it when you're taking an exam you know um, when you're in school you know you have to be the one to take that exam to pass that course um, yeah, you, there's ways to cheat it. Yeah, you can, you know, get someone to do your work for you. You'll never even know what the, what the course was about. You never even know nothing. You just send in your paper. That's just wrong because 
you're not getting the lesson, you know, and what's the purpose if you're training for a specific, you know, like occupation or, you know, just in school in general, because you're never going to find out what you were supposed to learn. So in life lessons, that's even more greater. You're supposed to be the one to find that out. And it's not because, you know, someone can tell you that, you know, I get a lot of questions like that. And I feel so bad because I wish I could tell you guys, cause it would be so easy. I wish someone could tell me, you know, it's kind of like, we have to find out. That's why we need to find, whoops. <laughs> this card is really powerful. Divine timing, divine timing. Make the effort, divine masculine. This is it. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you go, you're guided to take. So you know what? In divine timing, maybe your love is not going quick enough the way you would like. It's not working. It's not coming through. It's not happening. Why isn't she calling? Why isn't he texting me? You know, that's a, like, like, like the biggest question ever. Is it going to happen? You know, divine timing, divine timing. No, there is nobody that can give you an accurate time frame on when things happen. You know, it's not because they're not gifted or I'm not gifted. Nobody can get that because that is divine timing. Seriously. Um, yeah, we'd like to know, like, is it going to be 15, 20, 30 years from now? Of course. But, you know, whatever it is, it's divine timing. You can estimate it, but you can't get it exact. You know, it's like, unless you get a date. Sometimes I do get dates when I give readings. You know, like, I'll pick out a date. And I'll say, where did that come from? Well, it was a message, you know, and that's something that comes to me randomly. I can't get it all the time. I wish I could. My mind wants to, but I know the difference when my mind wants to and when I'm picking it up from my from my guides. So that's why you need to focus on that as well. Divine Feminine, manifest. Divine Feminines is manifesting something greater, something deeper, something higher in their lives. This is another thing that they are starting to see um, with, with trusting, trusting what's in their heart. Because... Without manifestation and trust, you can't get around. You can't get what you want. Your dreams will never be fulfilled. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Have faith. This person that you're, you're focused on, maybe this person is not who you think this person is, or maybe this person is not being the person that you know them to be. Don't worry. Have faith. Have trust. Manifestation. What I mean by manifestation, manifesting what you want, you're focusing. See like this card? He's focusing. This angel is manifesting something in their life to happen because they believe it. They know it without a shadow of a doubt. You just know it. You know, it's an inner knowing that person is connected to me and I know. And maybe that person isn't connected to you. Maybe there is someone else that's connected to you and you can feel it. You know something is out there and you're having a difficult time with trying to understand it. Don't stress about it, guys. Don't stress about it. Whoever this is going out to, the message. Patience. Divine Feminine needs to practice patience. Very, very important. Um, I know it's something we're all kind of guilty on, yeah? I mean, we want things right away. We want it to happen, and you know what? Things will happen, you know, just like everything in this world. You know, we are starting to see a glimpse of a rainbow, of a light, you know, and it's fun, it's happy, it's just, it makes us all smile. Um, and that's why you have to, you know, focus on that. Give your relationship a chance. Another important message, another important card to, um, to, to focus on. If that person isn't giving you what you want, work on your partnership. Don't just leave it behind. Don't just, you know, let it go because you're not giving it a chance. Maybe because you've been hurt before, but you know this person can make something happen or a difference. Give it a chance. Don't don't underestimate what you're what you're feeling. You know, your own intuition can get that. Your own intuition can feel that. How do you know that your intuition is working? Well, you feel it. You know, you feel it. You 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 um you hear it. You have to pay attention to it. You know, this is something that is very sacred to you. Um, um or you can get a reading to to find out, you know, to get a little bit more of insight. Everybody is different, so this is like like reading for the collective and I can only just give you the messages that are coming through but only you know what to do because readings are not meant for you to um, get a reading to tell you what to do it's not a how to how to get through life kind of guide I wish it was I mean kinda if you're intuitive and you can feel I know when I get readings from someone gosh it's like 
wow, they read me so well that they can, you know, when they're, when they're truly, you know, gifted, they can read me so well that I made my own decisions without trying to make my own decisions because they helped me. Kind of like when you go to the gym, you know, you see all those machines. Yeah, anybody can push, you know, the machines like this and, you know, run on the treadmill and do all of that. Sure. But when you have a guide or a personal trainer or somebody to, you know, coach you along, you know, to tell you a little bit of pointers and what to do to, to help you do the work. Wow, that's gold. You know, that's that's how it works. Same thing with, you know, spirituality. And that's what, you know, spiritualist psychics are there for. Um, so it's something that to really like take in and, you know, listen to what your intuition says with this situation. You know, nobody can tell you it's time to move on and nobody can tell you it's time to, you know, throw in the towel, but somebody can tell you to work on yourself and work on what it is that you're, you're having trouble with, work on you. We all need to work on ourselves. It's kind of like, you know, when we eat healthy, you know, when you work on eating healthy, you don't just do it one day and say, okay, tomorrow I can just go eat a lot of junk food. I mean, you can, but there's nothing wrong with that. But you know what? You want to keep that momentum going. Yeah, I want to keep my healthy eating, my vegetables, my, you know, whatever you're eating. I don't know, maybe you don't like vegetables. <laughs> I love vegetables. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyways, you guys got no one, you guys got, you know what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, they have so much energy and I'm excited. That's when I'm excited, I fumble my words. Many of you know that. Okay, so a lot of important messages. It was really fun um, getting the messages. Um, and I hope that they resonated with you. Like I said, take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. And as I mentioned before, you want your own personalized reading. This is, like I said, this is very generalized for all types of, you know, soul connections. Look down in the description area. I have blogs, websites, and um, you know lots of information to help you get your own personalized reading. Um, you know, and so I do offer the phone, chat, and email um, options. Um, so I just want to say to you guys, thank you all for so much for reaching out to me. It's just, it's really an honor to be here for you guys. And no matter what I'm doing, I'm always, you know, putting off things to a side and saying, you know what, I'm gonna just do the reading. I'm going to do it wherever I'm at, you know, wherever I'm going, you know, I just, I make time and it's been like that for going on three and a half years. I think something like that. I don't know. I can't even keep count anymore. You know, I think last year was like, that, that don't really count. Right. I don't think so. <laughs> now we're starting to get out more and do things. And I hope you guys are too. So, um, until next time, God be with you all. Namaste.